Hello guys, welcome to Entry Legends. Today we're going to be doing a review on this really old HTC Wildfire phone. So this phone I've had for 14 years. I've had it since 2010. I've had it lying around and I want to do a review on how it holds up in 2024. So as you can see, here's the phone. It's got an SD card inside of it. It's got an SD card slot. This phone was completely dead. And what I did, I charged it up with this USB tester so you can see it's overall capacity and as you can see this is the overall capacity of this phone so it's got 1400 milliamp hours right now um obviously when it came out it had more milliamp hours and i put on the screen of how much watts it was charging at and the charge that a total of two hours and 41 minutes that's how long it took to fully charge this phone but anyway we're gonna boot up this phone and we're gonna do a boot test to see how long it actually boots up mm. So as you can see right here, it has a, a little bit of a screen burning, but the screen should still work fine. So yeah, as you can see, this phone has no back cover. I've lost the back cover for it. So it shows up as free because that's the carrier that um, this phone was from. So as you can see, it took about a minute and 20 seconds to boot up, as you can see on the screen. So the phone is loading up now. So as you can see, this is what the phone's like. It's a bit laggy, as you can see here. Try and go through the apps. Yeah, it's a bit laggy. I'm going to see how this phone performs. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now, we're going to see if we can actually watch YouTube videos. As you can see, this is the YouTube app. And of course, the YouTube app does not work because obviously the phone's outdated for the YouTube servers. So there's no way of watching videos for the YouTube app. But what you probably can do, we can go on the internet, we can go on the browser. And as you can see, we can see the Google logo on this old HTC phone. So. You can actually still use Google uh, for connecting to the Wi-Fi, as you can see. So I'm just going to type in my uh, YouTube channel on this phone. As you can see, it shows up my channel. Let's um, access my YouTube channel on this HTC phone. Got to accept all. So yeah, it's taking its time right now. So that's an interesting loading bar. I've never seen a loading bar like this. So yeah, it's taking a really long time to load. I don't think it's going to load at all. So let's try and refresh it and see if we can actually get it working this time. All right, so since YouTube's not working, let's uh, just uh, go back. Um, I don't know who this is. This is someone else on Tumblr. I don't even have a Tumblr account. And it turns out that's not working as well. Let's try and use Instagram. So yeah, using the internet on this phone seems to be problematic. Let's try and at least go on my website. As you can see, we actually got the website on. So yeah, as you can see, the website does work. Let's see if we can get our SoundCloud thing. We can't get our SoundCloud thing working. Yeah, unfortunately we can't do that. Let's access the time website. So this is time.is. Okay, this does not work. Let's check out my um, history on this phone. I haven't used this phone in a really long time. Let's see if we can find something from 10 years ago or something. All right, so scrolling all the way to the bottom, we managed to find HTC website, let's see if the HTC website even works on this phone. Okay, so not even the HTC website does not work on this phone. I literally can't do anything on here. Let's try and go on the Apple website. Okay, so even the Apple website, we can't access it. We can't access anything on here. So as you can see in the bookmarks, we can see all these websites. Uh, let's, what's Lonely Planet? I don't even know what website that is. And even that does not work. You can't do absolutely nothing like AccuWeather. All right. Nothing can be accessed on this site. All right, so there's no way for me to go to the Play Store because I have to log into my Google account. And even though I tap the right password, it just says I'm unable to log in. Like, it just says it doesn't match. That means this phone can't even connect to the Google servers. There's no chance of downloading any apps on this phone now. I did manage to have apps from before, but of course now there's no way of installing any apps. So what are you going to try now? We're going to try uh, various apps that we can... Get on this phone let's try the maps let's see if maps even works on here so as you can see the maps is working completely fine you can go into you can zoom in and you can see what um, everything looks like essentially you can see the, literally the photos of everything it's quite clear as well let's try and um go in terrain view so this is pulling off the service so this actually works you can actually uh use maps on this phone let's try and go on something and let's see if it shows any information about this place. And yeah, 
you can see all the information inside the maps app it's able to communicate with the servers as you can see up here i think that means gps all right not everything works like you can't see any you can't see all the reviews all right guys so i just loaded an audio file onto this phone's sd card so what we're gonna do we're gonna test the speakers out so yeah we're gonna play at full volume Got no bass at all as you can hear. So yeah, the good thing about this, you can use it as an MP3 player. Just plug your headphones into the audio jack. Cool thing about this phone, it's got an audio jack, unlike phones today. So you can use it as an MP3 player. Just load your songs onto an SD card and you can, you've got yourself an MP3 player. All right, so as you can see, I'm playing the audio for the headphones. It's quite loud, let's, let's see if you can hear it. It's got some bass as well. And another thing you could do, you could just connect any Bluetooth headphones, like even your AirPods, you can just connect it to this phone. All right, so now we're gonna do a test of connecting a Bluetooth device to this phone. As you can see, I've got my Bluetooth speaker here. I'm gonna put it in pairing mode. Scan for devices. As you can see, my device is here. All right, so we connected to the speakers. All right, so we're connected to the speaker. Let's play the sound. All right, since I couldn't get the Bluetooth speaker working, I'm going to try and get my AirPods connected to this phone. All right, so we're connected to the AirPods. Let's see if we can actually play any sound to the AirPods. All right, so surprisingly, it's working on the AirPods, but for some reason, not the Bluetooth speaker. So yeah, you can use your AirPods with this old HTC phone. All right, this phone has a feature called FM radio, where you can listen to different radios in the area. So I'm using this as an antenna, and as you can see, it's playing through these headphones, but I can make it play for the speakers. So I'm gonna put the speaker. It'll go to different stations. As you can hear, when I um, lift up the headphones, then you can hear a little bit of, of the radio. So yeah, you can get FM on this and you can play it for the headphones as well. Another app I got in this phone is an app called Airbubble. And essentially what this does, it turns this phone into like a AirPlay server. And what this does, it uses this phone as an AirPlay server and you can connect this via aux to a speaker and basically turn that speaker into a into an airplay server i used it back in the day but right now of course you can't access the google play source so you can't even download it if i delete this app from the phone i won't be able to download it again maybe there's other ways to download it like downloading the apk from the website all right so as you can see you can see one to your speaker here and that's what i named it you can't even get an app like this on an iPhone. It's like an Apple feature, but for some reason, you can't get it on an iPhone, but you can get it on an Android phone, which is why I got it on here. But of course, on a newer Android phone, you can get an app like this. I'm gonna go onto a speaker over here. So as you can see, I'm watching a video, and as you can see, it's playing through this phone. You can hear it over here. As you can see, it's playing from this phone to here. Hello guys, it's uh, September now. So it's quite cool, you can use this old Android phone as an AirPlay server and then you could just plug any aux device anything like your car or your aux speaker and you can essentially turn that into an AirPlay server and it's playing in the headphones as you can hear so yeah I can use this phone as an AirPlay server if I need it there's also a game called Tita let's uh, play this game so it's like a game that's built into the phone of course you can't download any more games because the google play store you can't access it anymore so if you want it games you can probably find a way to get it online through the sd card so yeah it's got a calculator on this phone if you need it you got flashlight on this phone so um you basically got a torch as you can see it's not really as bright as an iphone so this is my iphone success on this max as you can see, this one's a bit more powerful. iPhone's more stronger, light. All right, so I've put a photo onto this phone and we're now gonna check out a gallery, see what gallery looks like. And as you can see, this is a 24 megapixel photo. I've taken it with my um, Nikon camera. As you can see, you can zoom in quite a lot. Actually, you can't zoom in that much. It doesn't really show the full resolution. So this phone's got um, a feature called Wi-Fi hotspot. So you can create like a little hotspot on this phone. If you've got your own mobile data on this phone, you can share it via Wi-Fi hotspot like you can do on phones nowadays. And as you can see, if you've got no 
carried and really no point but you can make your own little wi-fi network with this phone so as you can see the wi-fi network is showing up now i'm going to connect it and do a little speed test using an app called wi-fi sweet spots to see how fast it is so as you can see it shows uh, what it is the htc corporation i've actually just uh, put a random number for the ip address um, myself i'll show you how to change it as well and there's this app called wi-fi sweet spots to see how fast the wi-fi is on this phone so let's do a speed test and as you could see it's not really that fast all right so this phone is still connected to this hotspot and as you can see you can see all the connected devices so this is the device connected to it this is this phone right here you can go to menu we can go to advanced and you can change the settings including the wi-fi channel so this is 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi channel you can put it on always on or you can disable it after inactivity and you can change the land settings this is what it is right now but if you reset to the default settings this is what it's uh, meant to be like so this is what the calendar app looks like on this HTC phone now let's see what clock looks like we're going clock over here you can see the time so let's see what the alarms were like when alarm sound You've also got stopwatch and you've got a timer over here. You've also got an app called desk clock on here. It's pretty much the same thing as the other app. It links, both of them are linked together. So I've got this app called Total Commander, as you can see here. And you can see all the files in your phone's SD card. Or This app's not pre-installed in the phone. I downloaded it on the Google Play Store. Let's see if the stock app works. Nah, it doesn't work. All right, let's see what the camera app looks like on this phone. Let's see the settings you can get on here. You can put it in photo mode or video mode. You can change the exposure. You can change the contrast. You can change the effects that you're using. You can change the resolution. This one's better. You can change the encoding type. On photo, you can change the resolution. You can geotag your photos. You can add a timestamp. I'm definitely going to try that as well. And you can include a grid so that you can see. So I'm going to do a few tests with this phone. I'm going to record a couple of videos and I'm going to put it on the screen right now. All right, so you're hearing me from the microphone of the HTC phone, and you're also looking at the video recorded on the HTC Wi-Fi. So as you can see, this is what it looks like recording on this phone. Um, we're going to turn the lights off and see what it looks like with the lights off. I'm going to go in my videos. And now we're going to put the flashlight on on this phone. So as you can see, flashlight is on. This is what the phone looks like, uh, iPhone 12 Pro, which is the one I was just recording with. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is what it would look like recording a video on an old Android phone from 2010. I'm now going to turn the light back on. See what it looks like now with the light on. As you can see, this is my phone. This is the iPhone, iPhone 6S. This is the weather in London right now. 21 degrees so yeah all right so we're recording a video side by side so the left screen is the HTC phone the right screen is the iPhone 12 Pro as you can see you are hearing me from the iPhone 12 Pro mic and now you are hearing me from the HTC wildfire built-in microphone this is the HTC microphone you're hearing me from the HTC microphone and now you're hearing me from the iPhone 12 Pro microphone you can also see the battery usage on this phone. So as you can see, it was up for one hour and 25 minutes and it shows you what's been using the battery the most. Um, most of it's being used by the Android system. It doesn't really give me much information here. It shows how much being used by the display, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and camera. So anyway, that wraps up this video on reviewing an old Android phone in 2024. I hope you found this video interesting. This phone is pretty much obsolete when it comes to internet or watching videos. But you can use it as an MP3 player. You can use it as an FM radio player. Pretty much do some basic stuff. You can use it as an AirPlay server if you can manage to get Airbubble installed on this phone. But other than that, that's pretty much all you can do with this phone. You can use it as an alarm clock. You can view some photos, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out.